Hello, I'm Walton Pantland and this is part of the Union Solidarity International Union Tech course on political campaigning in the digital age. And today we're going to talk about how to create a Facebook page. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, there are a few reasons for it and before we get to them, uh, you should know that there are probably three ways you can use Facebook. And the first one is the one that everyone is familiar with, which is using Facebook as a person, as yourself. Uh, and you can follow your friends and they can follow you back and you can like each other's posts. You can cr also create a group in Facebook, which a lot of people do for organizing. Uh, but we don't really recommend that because although groups are supposed to be private, they're actually quite easy to get into. And so your organizing activity can be quite, uh, uh, quite exposed by using that method. What we, we recommend is that you create a Facebook page for your union branch or the, the campaign that you're running and you use that not so much for organizing activity but to publicize the work that you do it. And the great thing about a Facebook page is that it's really accessible and visible to everyone, including people who are not on Facebook. So you don't have to be registered into Facebook to see what's on that page. It's like a website. All the information's there. It's very, very easy to update so you can keep all your followers and supporters up to date with what you're doing all the time. You can create events, you can do all sorts of things. Also, it adds a, a level of anonymity and privacy which is useful. We all know that sometimes in the workplace managers uh, target people who use social media for union organizing and by posting as a page you, you add a level of uh, plausible deniability to what you're doing. You can also share the load and responsibility with other people by making them admins of the page as well. So you're a little bit protected in that way. So let's have a look quickly at technically how you'd set up a page. It's not very, very difficult, but uh, I'll take you through it. So let's say you logged in as yourself and I'm someone who uses Facebook under the name of Luther because I want even more anonymity. So here I am on my Facebook page, Luther, and I go into the top drop down menu and I scroll down and I click create page. And then I get a number of options and um, I can choose local business or place, company, organization or institution, brand or product, a number of other options. What you're going to choose is cause or community. That's probably the best for any kind of campaign unless you are creating the page for an official organization. So you click cause or community and then you choose a name. And uh, I don't know, what shall we call our Facebook page? Let's just call it Union Tech since that's the name of the, the course that we're using. I click Union Tech, I click Get Started, and it takes me onto the next screen. And um, I write a little bit of text there. And then I upload a picture. So I have a, have a good logo ready that you can upload. All right, there's my logo, I'm happy with it. Add to favorites if I want to or skip that. Preferred page audience. Not a bad idea to go through this and uh, if you're targeting people in a certain country or a certain city or a certain demographic, you can put that information in. I'm gonna skip that for now. Uh, there's the basics of my page. It doesn't look like anything at all. Um, but the first thing I want to do is add a cover because that makes your page looks, look a lot more interesting. So here's one that I chose beforehand. I'm ready for it. Um, and I'm quite happy with the way that is. I'm not going to reposition it. I'm going to save changes. The reason a cover is good is it makes your page look so much more interesting, so much more professional. And uh, for the kind of work that we do, union organizing, I always recommend putting people on that cover. Um, generally, people looking happy, organized, taking political action together, feeling positive about it. And I'd also recommend that you change the cover relatively regularly, maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks, keep it fresh, keep your page looking good. That's how to create a page on Facebook. In further tutorials, we'll look at how to post things and how to keep a page updated. Thank you, and I hope you found that interesting.